the danger and generalizations and how we also like we mm. operate operate in these polar opposites and we think that because two or three black men that you had were this way that you're never going to find a black man that's different right. if somebody cannot accept one part of you if they family can't accept one part of you that's a rejection of you as a whole mm. look at the people that they did before and who they are now. And you spoke to, just because you don't have someone within your race now, mm -hmm. presently, or in this that moment, doesn't mean you're never gonna find right. them. Converse is the same as well as in terms smoke. of like a black woman or a black dad with a daughter mm -hmm. and you know he's supposed to be the protector he's mm. supposed to be her first boyfriend and he's supposed to model the way in which a man should treat her mm -hmm. and so when she grows up and she gets a man that looks nothing like him who acts nothing like him who's complete opposite what does that say to that relationship to some extent Right, mm -hmm. there are there are variables. It's not one thing isn't concrete, but like this is like come the things that we're talking about, mm -hmm. right? And so like, how how do you relate to that? How do you hear that? I hear. I mean, I hear what you're saying. I definitely think I do kind of have that assessment mm -hmm. of of as a parent doing something right. Mm -hmm. I look within the dynamic of my family and the men in my family. Mm -hmm. You know, coming out of California, which is much more racially diverse, mm -hmm. and a lot of them have chosen other you know, other than black. Mm. And I do look at it and say, well, you know, the mom was kind of mean. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Or they might have had a bad experience yeah. in some way mm -hmm. that they have a lot of ideas about what bl black women are like mm -hmm. and it, how it might impact them looking at a partner and how they, the partner might treat them. Blame really your mom then, though. Don't blame but everybody. This is really that's why I don't, I'm I don't have an issue. But have, okay. I don't think y'all understand. Y'all just brought up a different aspect of why people may choose different mates. Mm -hmm. Because you, if you look at someone who may have come from a broken home who may not have had a father in the house, mm -hmm. male or female, right. who... Who mother? Who they may internalize feelings of their mother drew drove mm -hmm. their father away. Mm -hmm. So they, I may not want this, mm -hmm. or I don't want that experience. Mm -hmm. Well, the mother being hard because she's yeah. mom and dad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or, or mm -hmm. you reminding reminding your mom so much of your dad that mm -hmm. she takes that out on you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't want that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's not. And it's it's interesting how that manifests itself over time and how b black women now are feeling. I, I don't want to say they're feeling the, the the backlash of that. Or, or the effect of that, but I think it's definitely a piece of what's going on right now. Well, Malcolm X said black women are the, the most disrespected mm. person in America, so it ain't just now. <clears throat> I don't believe that. Who told I don't believe you that. Yourself. I'm gonna be real. I don't believe that. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay. I really don't believe that. That's okay. another conversation. And people say, you know, black women are the most unprotected uh, group, and I don't oh, really yeah, believe that. For sure. Mm -hmm. I, well, I mean, we agree to disagree. I just don't. I don't really believe that. I feel like who you feel like? Which group you feel like general, is? Which group you feel I'm like biased. is? So what is your idea? I, mean, I would say black men. Why? Yeah. Why? Because uh, we're viewed as this protector or we're viewed mm -hmm. in a different light than women are in general. Mm -hmm. uh, we're supposed to have so much privilege mm -hmm. to the extent of who protects us mm -hmm. when yeah. we're supposed to be a protector. Exactly. So with the absence of a lot of men over time, it's like, how can certain men protect black women? And we the can't even protect ourselves. Of black males. I, I hear that. And like, that. We get to the point where we're aggression is only is viewed and accepted in certain areas. But if you like Tupac said, over thirty, you don't see no loud mouth thirty year olds. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, you take away the voice of black men. And I don't know. It's it's it's, it's complex. I don't really have all my thoughts together on it. But I do feel feel like it's it's very complex. And right now we we get into social media where we can say things like that. We can throw tweets out like that. But if you look at context, black women are the most educated group. Black women are, are rising to certain um, mm -hmm. positions. They have this power. Maybe they haven't realized it yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe we are not acknowledging it yet. But. It's so much going on with black women in a positive direction. Even, I, that's yeah, how I feel, and, and that's and I, and I agree with what you're saying too, Dwayne. If you look at a lot of the uh, the recent statistics in terms of education and even in the PhDs, you know, in graduate school, I mean, right, it's predominantly female. But then you this get black people to say, well, wait, what, are we but, but, but what, what are we equating with? What are we equating with? 
like the most and least respected and the most and least protected because just because you have education don't mean that you respect well, no, it. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, what I'm saying verbally, is that there are a lot of different... I, if you want to talk about verbally, like in songs and, and, and from media, hip-hop culture, then yes, we can say that. But I think it's an undertone of this respect that we have for black women in private that we may not necessarily share in public. Oh, but, but what, that's a what's, problem. The point of, what's the point I'm of the respect that problem. you have in private if you don't I'm not saying that I do. I think, black man, I, I think as a I black think man, it took time. You, you got to like listen to your sisters and your aunts and your mom's stories and see how they are invisible in, in the public eye and mm -hmm. have been always at the front line with some right. of the most powerful men doing some of the same things and don't get half of the respect as the black man. Oh, I'm not definitely. disqualifying or discounting <clears> the black man's struggle as a black man, mm -hmm. but I think it's very dangerous to start comparing those struggles in a way that makes makes us uh, uh, more protected or less protected or vice versa, whatever. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm trying to paraphrase kind of what you were saying, but like, I feel like it's very dangerous to get into looking at what statistics say versus how people are received and treated in today's society. Yeah, let, me clear no, 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 let me clear it up because okay. I feel like that, that may have been uh, received wrong. What I'm not saying is I'm not trying to put one group above Guess another. Mm -hmm. I'm saying for current society now, I think that people are not acknowledging the power that women have, specifically black women have. Mm -hmm. And for me, I feel like black men are the most like unprotected group because of what we're supposed to do our job and our role. Now, if we haven't had people to give us those instructions over the years, then how can we do our job? I think, though, you should take it on a personal level instead of saying black men. Oh, mm -hmm. on a personal level, you know I've saying? always acknowledged black women like we were talking about beforehand. I see how hard my mom works and how she's overlooked for promotions on her job. Mm -hmm. Like I, It clicked to me a year ago, like really mm -hmm. clicked. Mm -hmm. I've always had women to look up to. If mm -hmm. it wasn't for a woman, I wouldn't have went to college. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for a woman, like I wouldn't have certain things put together now financially. Mm -hmm. So I, I've always recognized and championed them. But well, you I might see the power, though. Like mm -hmm. you said, you didn't see the struggle till a year ago. Oh, yeah. But you mm -hmm. saw the it power. All of it didn't connect into it. Right. Mm -hmm. So even now, as so you talk about that, now. though, you're talking about seeing a power mm -hmm. and not seeing the struggle. Mm -hmm. So I think that connects to your argument of so what you're saying black about woman. black women black and woman generally. Woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you're, you're generalizing <laughs> to that. Be yeah. You're, I'm not, I'm well, speaking you're on saying based on your experience, though. but yeah. you can't project that onto black mm -hmm. women as a group. Mm -hmm. I think when I, when, when I, specifically me, when I talk, I'm basically speaking on my experience. I, I apologize if I'm generalizing. But, but that, I think that's what people are responding to. Yeah, that's it. Now. I'm speaking from my context. No, I ain't taking it back. I no, that's what I said. I agree. Think, I agree everything I speak from is from my context and my experience. Right. Like, I don't that's mean why we have the like, conversation. But, but, but what, it, what would you say? Give me the words to clear what, it up. What would you say? No, 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 no. It's, it, now I'm, I'm, same topic. Don't walk into that trap. Because I agree with what you said. But what about white women? And if they said, you know, I feel like we're the most... Unprotected, you know, we don't have a voice because you, if you think about it, even back during the slavery times, what the masters hated, you know, the slaves obviously, mm. but they were running off sleeping with the black women slaves, mm. and they weren't, they were kind of dismissive raping. of the of raping, mm -hmm. you know, and they were dismissing the white wives mm -hmm. because they didn't have a voice. Nowadays, you see these white men in these positions, and they don't really put their wives to the forefront. They don't really have platforms and voices like a lot of the sisters are having nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that it's the same, but I feel like white women, and I've heard them before, I think they present a good argument also. You know, I mean, if you have what? the words, you can present a good argument with anything. But I, wanna, I think even in that time, white women were the ones who were getting the black women killed on the plantation. And, and black people. Yeah. And black and men black killed children. for that very reason. So I think this is a conversation that we have to have at another point, too, because uh, we, we are really getting up, into... Um, Different we, topics. We can't too. stop it there, though. Uh, well, <laughs> we can't stop it there, though. <laughs> not, that not, 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 not with me there, being though. the one that said white women probably got it right, worse. Yeah, we can't stop it. tell you to say that. But <laughs> it, it no, but I didn't want to kind of everybody playing the victim. But I think yeah. going back to the statistics, yeah. right? Yeah. Go back to the statistics. The, the statistic that you guys brought up, one in which was black women have are, are the most educated, right? Mm. Think about the people that educated you on your college experience. Were there more women or more men? Women. 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 Okay. Women. How many? Uh, there were more women in your department than the kind of like men overall. Of, hold on. In terms of my college? Yeah. Teachers? 
Like all, just across the span. So when you talk about like the qualifications that black women have, the point that I was trying to make there is that they still seem to be like not in the spaces that they should be in when we talk about the statistics of that way, right? Mm-hmm. Or when you look at uh, about the lives that are being lost and harmed. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not making the statement to say that black men's lives that are being lost shouldn't be highlighted, but we rarely ever hear about the black women who get Sandra killed. Bland. We rarely ever hear. We, we black rarily children. ever put all those rights. names out. There are so many other names of black people, specifically black Trans women, people, who have LGBT. been murdered and killed. Yeah, who don't get that that light and I'm not mm. saying that black men getting that light is a good thing because we need to stop that too but like mm. just think about how much the black woman is overlooked mm-hmm. in history and in present day that's mm. what I'm saying like it's hard for me to kind of mm. to, to, to have that conversation because black women all the time are always there are always affected are always impacted but nobody ever gives them the space and when they do get to the table the mm. same burden that we was talking about in the last episode that we have as black men uh-huh. for the kids that we have now they have the burdens of the black men and the black woman because black Everybody. women are always there supporting us. When you uh-huh. talk about your mom, my mom supported me day in and day out and I never uh-huh. recognized the struggle that she was going through mm-hmm. every day, right? So it's like, we, we got to do better at protecting our black woman. We got to do better at giving them black women a voice and we got to mm-hmm. do better at acknowledging the struggle that they have. I'm not saying that we got to compare apples to oranges and all of that and put a, a, a who's higher and who's lower, mm-hmm. but I do think as men, we got that man brain sometimes where we only mm-hmm. can recognize our experiences and we try to put those two against each other, mm. and I just think that that's something that we need to kind of move away but even from. I think, yeah. oh, and so I speak. know, I agree with um, you. I agree with you. But even in our conversation, I'm learning. Yeah, like, and I think we can't. Sometimes we we throw the whole person away just because of them expressing their um, opinions or experiences. But having a conversation provides us with more information. Right. Like mm. I actually get what you're saying right. and where you're coming from. Yeah. And in no uh, way am I discounting what black uh-huh. women go through. Okay. Like, right. No, but not because yeah. no. people yeah. watching no. this, they'll take a little clip of what yeah, somebody's will. saying. Yeah. Sound like, Kanye. And do Sound it. Yeah. And they'll, throw, they'll like t- try to say that you don't uh, support black women when they don't even know. Most of my yeah. work is done with right. black, black women right. and to advocate for them. Let- but I see... I see things a little different. Right. Last thing, and though, that's last all I'm thing. trying to I'm a, I feel like you should have the last yeah, word. Yeah, 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 I, I feel like I just the see things thing, a little I'm differently when it comes to just struggles. And it's hard to express that because yeah. sometimes I don't have the words. But this is the last thing that I want. I feel like we need to think about, too, because we talked about the prison industrial complex and we talk about the pipeline, the prison, and we talk about mm. the overrepresentation of men in, in the black in the black jail system. Mm-hmm. Think about that in the context of now who's protecting the black woman. Mm-hmm. Think about that in that That's context too, right? Yeah. So we also talk about the, the, the struggles that we have and we do have a lot of struggles uh-huh. but then you think about the only people that will rightfully probably protect the black woman will be the black man and we're mm-hmm. not even there to do it. So yeah. think about that struggle for the black woman that she mm-hmm. goes day in and day out without the protection of the person that looks like her as a male figure or a counterpart because the system is taking him away too. And that's why I She's think the black man is the most endangered species. And I think that's the, the I think that's why Dwayne. Well, that's why I feel the way I feel about the Dwayne's uh, <laughs> statement in regards to who's being uh, what was it just who's vulnerable, the most vulnerable, vulnerable. You know what I mean? The black man. Because if you erase the black man. <clears throat> You won't even have no more. You, woman can't reproduce. You know what do, I mean? You're not there to do your job. And you're not, you're not there. You, you, won't, you won't have any more black men coming up or black women coming up. You Again, I mean? we, we, we're getting into some things, too, that we'll have to have a lot more time to mm-hmm. explore. But Dwayne, I mean, Daylon brought up a point about um, who's there to protect a black woman. And there was an article that Serena William did an interview for. And I don't know if it was real or not, but... Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank I did you. my research. I did my research. Thank thank you. You. Okay. So then I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna go into that. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for the help. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> what what I will say too is what I'm hearing is this: is that you know it's this dichotomous relationship amongst black men and women in terms of the power struggle and dynamics because it is counterintuitive uh, uh, in regards to what we think of masculinity too. If mm-hmm. black men are emasculated constantly, if we are castrated, if we are removed from the homes, mm-hmm. if we're not there to be fathers, if our sons and daughters are ripped from our arms, mm-hmm. and it, it creates a pathology. And then so how do we identify who we are mm-hmm. when we have no identity? Mm-hmm. And in the same relationship, black women had to carry that bag, Mm -hmm. not because the black man wanted to put it on her, but Mm -hmm. it was the consequence of the larger system. Mm -hmm. And she's done it 
brilliantly mm -hmm. and beautifully. And I went to a conference and I listened to like the perception of the strong black woman and how sometimes that can be more harmful mm -hmm. because yeah. black women have the expectation to be strong. And they said they tired of being strong. Right. Mm -hmm. And they, they would like to be mm -hmm. soft and demure and all that stuff. But, but well, it, it doesn't well, always right. offer that choice I to them. And too, so for yeah. truth. Okay. as we close out this conversation, <laughs> I want to let Gender the norms. the woman of the panel um, the brilliant, beautiful, excellent, intelligent, strong black woman, you know, have the last words. Okay, so just to sum up, you know, using my therapist skills, <laughs> you know, because we really Make got, we really right. got into an emotional place, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I think that kind of derailed the conversation, but I think it goes to a larger point of everybody saying who's more the victim, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, of the system. Mm -hmm. And, you know, white women got their issues mm -hmm. with, you know, patriarchy, mm -hmm. black women got their uh, issues as being double minorities, mm -hmm. you know, black and woman, black men got their issues mm -hmm. of being unprotected. I mean, LGBT, you talk about trans, mm -hmm. black mm -hmm. women, you got a yes. triple minority there. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody got their list of problems, but it's when we let all that stuff in from our experience that creates the hurt and the pain. Now you get this open wound mm -hmm. and you like, I don't want another black person to put mm -hmm. their finger in it if I'm dating them and they gonna hurt me again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's always okay. this thing of you mm -hmm. operating from a place of hurt right. mm -hmm. instead of a place of, you know, Healing. really the truth of who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? The truth of who you are and who you wanna be. Right. And healing and, and, and just fullness and light and brightness. And so that even goes to interracial dating that why don't we take individuals as individuals mm -hmm. and check them out for who they are? Mm -hmm. And if they show us to be, you know, someone who can fit into our lives as we see it for ourselves, then go with it. You gotta be okay. But it's about as you see your life for yourself and knowing who you are, again, doing that self-work to know who you are and loving yourself enough to find somebody that's gonna love all of you. Mm -hmm. Six degrees of black mental health. Come on, come on. She shut it down. Free smoke. Free smoke. Free smoke.